Hi, I'm Seth Tate, Product Manager at Bloom US, and today I'm going to walk you through how to install Aventos HKI. Let's first take a look at the hardware you'll need for your installation. Along with two lift mechanisms, you'll need a door hardware set and, depending on your installation method, two cover caps. There are four versions of the lift mechanism. Each is rated for a specific power factor range. As you can see in the table, the 2300 unit holds the least amount of weight and the 2800 unit holds the most amount of weight. To select the correct lift mechanism for your application, the power factor must first be calculated by using the formula below. Power factor equals cabinet height multiplied by door weight, including twice the weight of the handle. So, if your cabinet height is 18 inches and your door weight is 10 pounds, your power factor is 180. Based on this table found in our literature, your power factor falls within the range of the 2700 lift mechanism. Now that you have all the necessary hardware, we can walk through installation. There are two methods for installing the lift mechanism into your cabinet. Full integration, where the lift mechanisms are fully concealed in the cabinet side panel, and semi-integration, where the lift mechanisms are flush with the inside of the cabinet side panel. We'll start with full integration. For your convenience, we sell raw MDF boards with pre-milled recesses in sets of two. That way, all you need to do is cut the boards to size and attach facings or apply finish. If you prefer to cut the recess yourself, you can do so in a couple different ways, either by using a two-piece panel or by multi-stage milling and adding an insert panel. Regardless of the method you choose, the dimensions and position of the recess remain the same. To install the lift mechanism, simply place the unit into the pre-milled recess. Then tighten the screw at the bottom of the unit to lock it in place. For semi-integrated installations, the recess is bored in the inside of the side panel, with the same recess dimensions as those of the fully integrated installation method. To make the milling process even easier, we've developed a set of router templates to precisely cut the necessary recesses into your side panels with template A being used to remove material to house the lift mechanisms, and template B being used to cut the shallow recesses to house the insert panels. With your lift mechanisms in place, you can add your cover caps. Now that your lift mechanisms are installed, we can walk through how to attach your door mounting plates to your cabinet door. To find the vertical drilling distance from the top of the door to the first screw location, subtract your top gap from 53.5 millimeters. The horizontal drilling distance from the side of your door to the screw locations is dependent on whether your lift mechanism is fully integrated or semi-integrated. For fully integrated cabinets, the formula for the horizontal drilling distance is side front overlay minus the quotient of your cabinet side panel thickness divided by two. For semi-integrated cabinets, the formula for the horizontal drilling distance is side front overlay minus six. For a wooden door, the size of each pre-drilled hole should be five millimeters in diameter and 12 millimeters deep. For an aluminum framed door, the size of each pre-drilled hole should be two or 2.2 millimeters in diameter, depending on the frame thickness. The vertical distance between each screw hole is 32 millimeters. Once you've pre-drilled each hole, you can attach the door mounting plates to your door using the provided screws. Now that your door mounting plates are installed, you can attach your door to your cabinet. To do so, you'll first have to remove the transportation locks from each lift mechanism. Use a screwdriver to gently pull each lift mechanism arm into the open position. Then, use your screwdriver to push down the tab at the end of each arm to remove the transportation locks. With your lift mechanisms in the open position, Attach your door by lining up the door mounting plates with the lift arms and clip them into place. Now that your door is attached, adjust the tension on both lift mechanisms to ensure that your door is properly balanced. When your door stays exactly where you leave it, the tension of your lift mechanisms are properly adjusted. 
Finally, depending on the location of your cabinet, you may need to adjust the opening angle stop. This feature allows you to limit the opening angle of your door to ensure that it doesn't collide with your ceiling or any other obstacles. To make the adjustment, simply turn this screw until your ideal opening angle is achieved. If you have any questions about Aventos HKI or any of our other products and services, please visit our website at bloom.com. If there are any videos you'd like to see in the future, please let us know in the comments below.